Hi everyone and welcome back to ECS 30. Um, in this video we are going to be going through our VI tutorial um, and then submitting it. Uh, VI is a program that you can use to edit text. Uh, it's useful if you're connecting remotely to the CSIF and your terminal doesn't support GUI um, forwarding. The first thing that we want to do is connect over the CSIF. Uh, this, I'm going to double click and open up a new session and then what I'm going to do is start VI to tar VI. Uh, when we're here at the beginning in VI it is in command mode and if we want to start typing we need to press the I key. This is going to allow us to start entering text. So the first thing that we want to type out is this little poem. So we're going to move this thing over to the left hand side of the screen that over to the right hand side of the screen and zoom in on it then so we can see both we're just going to start typing the poem in one second there we go so i always remember standing in the rains on a cold and damp set September. Brown autumn leaves are falling softly ground like the dreams of a life they slide away. So good we got that typed in. And if we want to exit insertion mode, which is again, the mode where we're allowed to type, we can press the escape key. And that's going to bring us back into command mode. You can tell whether you're in command mode or insert mode by looking at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. If you're in insertion mode, it'll be I, and you'll see insert down there. And if we're in command mode, you won't see anything. We can use the arrow keys to move around in the text, as well as the W, we can use the arrow keys to move around. I think we also can use J, K, and O, whichever you want. September, it up. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to move to line four. If we're in command mode, we can specify what line we want to go to by typing colon and then four. And you can see my cursor jumped over here down to line four. Now we want to move the beginning of the cursor line, press I, and type in the word just. So just. And then press escape and we're back into command mode. So there are a couple of different ways that we can delete text if we want to get out of there. X will delete the character under the cursor. Uh, D deletes from the cursor to the end of the word under the cursor. DD will delete the entire line where we're at. Or if you proceed DD with a number, it will delete that many lines starting from the line of the cursor. And then we have this range delete. If we want to delete multiple lines. So first we're going to move over to line one. One, one. And then we're going to type W to move forward one word. And then type DW. To delete always, you can see that always disappeared. Now we're going to go to the S and rings. And then we're going to delete the S by pressing X. The next thing that we want to do is set the line numbers. This is pretty useful. So we do colon set number and the line numbers will show up. Move to line three. You can see that we jump to line three. Our cursor is over the B in brown. We're in text entry mode right down here. And then we're going to start entering each one of these things. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. So we filled in all these lines. Now we're going to move to line four. One four, and we're going to delete line four by typing two 
a colon to oops colon to dd and should have delete the next two lines so you can see that c um, to dd and it deleted those two lines so b and c both disappeared now we're going to delete lines six through eight by doing colon six comma eight delete so we should like to see lines six through eight go away f g and h and they're now gone and uh, now we are going to go to the line that has the i on it which is line six and delete the next two lines by typing colon dot comma colon oops dot comma eight d those guys disappear and the last one is we want to move to line five and finally and delete it and the two lines above it by typing colon oops, colon three comma d now we're back to original home the next thing that we want to do is replace some text so we're going to go over to the s in september press r to enter replace mode and then type capital s and you can see that we <clears throat> have replaced that S with a capital S. And then we're going to press the escape key. We go to standing. Let's escape. Actually, get back on here. Standing. And then apparently there's supposed to be so we want to replace damp with dark. We do that a couple ways. We could go into the replace mode and do R over K. R and then K again. So it's dark. Slide with slip. Just go into insertion mode and P. E. And then we want to place the L of like L. Lowercase L. The other thing you may want to do is we may want to paste text. So we want to copy the first two lines. So we're going to press escape. Go and then do colon one comma two Y. This is going to copy the first two lines. And then if we do colon three PU, it's going to paste those two lines underneath line three. Starting on line three, paste under it. And then we want to restore those the palm to what it originally was. So we're going to delete lines four and five. So colon four comma five delete. Wait. So we want to search for a pattern. We simply type slash then pattern and end to find the next one. So we're going to go to the back to the first line. And we're going to type slash H E hit enter. And it brings us to the then if we hit n it's going to bring us to the next the if we n again the next the and finally the n again would bring us to the the and the so the next thing we're going to do is doing the replacement down here so we're going to do colon one comma dollar sign dollar sign s slash r e slash x x x slash g 
So we replaced all of our, our E's with XXX. See that replacement happened. And we want to save, we can do colon W and then the name of the file that we want to save it to, rain.txt. If we already have our file saved, we can just do colon W and that'll save. And if we want to quit, colon Q, we'll quit. And now we've done everything that we need to in the tutorial. So we would need to go download the file. The so rain.txt should be over here somewhere. There it is. Download it. Say perhaps into downloads. Then go over to Mimir. Go ahead and find our assignment. This is ECS 10, so I'm going to go to the right class. ECS 30. We want our VI tutorial. We'll go up to submit project, choose our file. Go over to our downloads. There's rain.txt. Choose it, submit. It's going to give us this warning. Don't worry about it this time, but in your actual future homework, do worry about it if it shows up. Submit. And if everything is good, you should get 100%. So that's us walking briefly through the rain or the VI tutorial. I should let you know, I really don't enjoy using VI and outside of this video, you won't see me using it, but there are many people out in the world that swear by it and love it. And if you do, enjoy it. If you don't, go find something else that you really like. I'll see you guys in the next video.